I miss a little bit of the adrenaline. There's no question about it. Teamwork, uh, the winning culture, uh, having the opportunity to to beat other people because at the end of the day we are we're competitors and we want to we want to race. But after Formula One, I found it quite hard to uh, replace that. To be honest, our sports cars was fantastic with Porsche. We had a great time setting the team up and the success we had there. Um, but yeah, I wanted to stop while I felt like I was still driving really, really well and I didn't need to continue to race. So now I'm watching these legends as well continue on. And, uh, you know, sometimes I feel like I want to do it. Then I'm like, no, you know what? I really enjoy a few more kilos on, relax and just, uh, yeah. Ein paar Sachen vermisst er natürlich, zum Beispiel das Adrenalin, das er natürlich so richtig pumpt als Rennfahrer. Einer, der das noch nicht muss vermissen muss, weil er äh, nächste Saison in der Formel E wird starten wird, ist der Felipe Massa. You're uh, watching uh, the guys you will compete with next year. How do you like what you have seen so far in Zurich? Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, it's unbelievable how many people are uh, watching the race, enjoying uh, Formula E here in Zurich. I would say after 60 years no that we after more than 60 more yeah. than 60 years that uh, it was not uh, motorsport uh, racing here in the, in Switzerland so it's so nice to be here to watch and also to learn a little bit more about formula e Uh, looking about my, my future from next season sure everybody's talking about the bumpy roads here in Zurich <laughs> well i mean this is a, a a city you know it's not a purpose-built racetrack so the racing drivers we're used to that when you go to a, a, a temporary circuit there is some corners which are a little bit harder to, to drive on but um, of course if it's not too crazy if it's not too bumpy I mean these cars are they're, they're formula cars so they're they're very close to the ground there's not much suspension so it looks much more dramatic on TV in the car it feels dramatic but um, that's normal I mean you need to you need to have a little bit of that as well you cannot expect them to resurface the whole track the drivers love this track it's this is now the new template for the best track in the world in terms of facilities and organization and they've done a great job here in Zurich and if we're comparing to Formula One it's uh, races that take place in the middle of uh, the city that must be uh, quite attractive for all the spectators Yeah, I mean, taking the race to the people is definitely a huge component. Um, and as you know, Formula One have uh, longer tracks uh, because the, the cars can drive on those longer circuits and there's tracks which have been on the calendar for a long, long time. So Formula E's only been, it's its fourth birthday at the moment, so it's only really getting going. Um, and all the partners are involved, you know, all the a, uh, OEMs and, and the partners that are around Formula E, they're very interested in connecting to the people in the cities. So um, it's all very, very uh, relevant. In the fifth season, Felipe Massa will join this series. Is, if they would have asked you for uh, season one, what would have been your answer? Please join Formula yeah, I think e. that's a, it's a good question because uh, I would say a championship needs at least three years to understand, you know, if he's really a championship. If there is a future. If he's a championship that he will have a good future, he will keep growing. So I would say uh, the first three years was quite difficult for Formula E. But uh, it's unbelievable to see how much they grow from the third to the fourth season. And uh, I am sure this season is a, is a big season of the future. Uh, season one, I was still in Formula One, you know, complete different mentality. But uh, I would say I'm so happy to get in. I'm so happy to be in this, in this championship. And uh, it's a new, new challenge for me, I would say. Uh, the level of drivers, the way you need to drive the car, the, the tracks, the corners, the bumps. Uh, that we have in Formula One in the city tracks also, but is also a completely different picture. So uh, it's definitely a new challenge and I'm really happy and uh, looking forward for that. To have pilots like uh, Felipe on board in this series, uh, it's uh, quite important for the development and for the respect of the series uh, in the motorsports. Yeah, team. that's right. It's a, it's a, a credibility. It's a good currency because Felipe had an unbelievable Formula One career, very, very long uh, career, some incredible results. Um, so we, it's good that if we can really, if you want to say pick from the, the guys that we would look to uh, do Formula E, of course, these are the, the, the guys that have achieved results in Formula One on their own terms. Of course, I don't think we, we cannot have pay drivers here in Formula E. We have some guys that are bringing budgets to Formula One. This should be always uh, something that, that is not happening here. 
and we keep the young guys coming in too. So a mixture of, of Felipe and, and, and some of the... I mean, there will be some other guys, come, I'm sure, from Formula 1 in the next few years and top guys. But you still need the young guys coming through. And this is also the stimulus from then the go-kart mentality that we want to do Formula E. Uh, and no and no pay drivers. So this is in this is a good position. Das wird das Ziel sein von der Initianten von dieser Serie von der Formel E, dass es eben nicht unbedingt nur ein Budget braucht von einem Fahrer, um in eine Serie hineinzukommen, sondern dass man eben auf gute Fahrer wird setzen. Wie es der Mark Webber gesagt hat, zum einen Zukunftsfahrer, junge Fahrer und zum anderen erfahrene wie der Felipe Massa. Felipe, what do you have to learn to be ready for the next season? What are the main uh, um, points you have to uh, learn? Uh, so many things. Uh, as I said before, it's a new challenge. You need to learn how to drive the car. You need to learn everything around the car, the batteries. It is a car that you have uh, uh, completely different uh, pictures in terms of downforce. So it's no downforce compared to, to the car I used to drive, which is a Formula One car. So the way of driving, the way of using the brakes, uh, everything is different. Uh, so it is, uh, I'm learning, I'm already testing with the new car. I did few, two days of testing uh, for Venturi. Uh, and I'm doing some other days now, end of the month. So definitely a lot of uh, learning, but uh, I'm, I'm happy uh, in the way, uh, how I see things uh, going, how I manage to develop, even the tires. The tires are completely different compared to, to, to what we used to have, in f what, what Formula One is using, you know? So, but I'm, I'm happy. I mean, I, I think new challenge is good. It's good, I mean, when you start from zero, and you remember a little bit when you are in the car team moving to the, to the first category in car. So it's a nice uh, challenge and I'm so happy for that. Last question, Mark. Will you come back to Zurich? Did you like it so far? Sure. I mean, I've been here a few times. Uh, I'm a guest of Julius Baer this weekend, so it's nice to be with them. And they have an unbelievable setup, one of the best setups I've ever seen in a f any racing car paddock. They have 900 to 1,000 guests above the whole pit lane, so Julius Baer really doing a great job with that. And, um, yeah, I'm sure if I behave myself, they might invite me back next year, you know. So, uh, yeah, but uh, so far we're good, Steffi, right? I, I, I behave Absolutely, myself. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I should yeah. be back next year, I hope. I let him know, I let him know. And I said, when is it good? Not so sure. <laughs> Wenn er sich gut äh, verhält, dann darf er sicher wieder auf Zürich kommen. Er ist bei Julius Berz Gast, der ein grossartiges äh, Public Viewing für die VIP-Gäste hat, wo es wirklich abgesehen auf die Rennstrecke. Äh, der Felipe Massa ist sich noch nicht ganz sicher, ob der Mark je wieder kommen darf. 